Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. All for the Tough Enough Invicta FC Featherweight Tournament Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with four wins and no losses. Fighting out of progressive martial arts, San Clemente, California, Paola Ramirez La Assassina. Her opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with two wins and one loss. Fighting out of Bay Area Fight Academy, Hayward, California, Amber Libra. The referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Chris Tyone. All right, ladies, you've been given the rules. I expect you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Fight with honor, fight with respect, fight hard. Leave it all in the cage, give it to them, pick in the seat. Good luck. Our format is three three-minute rounds. Paolo Ramirez in the black and the white, Amber Leibach in the blue and the black. Cage door is closed. It is locked. Chris Tyone gives the all set, and we are underway. We get Leibach in the blue and the black. Ramirez in the black and the white. Leibach got that big reach advantage. Leibach gets put on her butt, though. Ramirez pushing forward. Interested to see who wins these short standing grappling matches that could be very telling for the outcome of the fight. Like you mentioned, Mahoney, Leibach has got that huge reach advantage. She stands at 5'11". Not afraid to throw and let those fists go. Moving in fast on Ramirez is Leibach. And this is exactly what we saw from Leibach last time. She's scrappy, she's long, she's tall, and she can put a hurting on somebody if she's able to get an early advantage. And she is just lighting her up right now. She landed a nice little uppercut a couple seconds ago that was just really sneaky. They kind of made uh, Ramirez blink twice. Oh, Ramirez with a nice right hand. She caught Leibach coming in. Like a fastball right there. Over the top. Leibach with a big kick to the body. It was caught by Ramirez, but Leibach still landed that solid strike. About halfway through round number one right now, Ramirez has got Leibach pushed up against the cage. Let's see if she's able to do anything with it. Looking for that hip toss, doesn't get it. There's Leibach, she backs away. And now they're back in the center. Yeah, there hasn't been any really significant takedown attempts in this fight so far, Mahoney. You see both fighters and they're striking, they're exchanging, but then they're backing up. And Ramirez gets the better of that one, an overhand right. Right now, she's lighting Leibach up against the cage. Leibach, though, running across the cage, pushing Ramirez in the process. And now Ramirez, Turns the tide a little bit and pushes Leibach back up against the cage. About 35 seconds remaining here in this first round. Women's title fight at 145 pounds. The winner of this fight goes to Invicta and gets themselves a contract. A little uh, redness under Leibach's left eye from those punches from Ramirez, but she's doing a good job. Oh, oh boy. boy. Big takedown there, but it Ramirez ends up in top position. This is the end of round number one. How do you score that right Oof. there? Who gets that takedown? I mean, Leibach got the takedown, but the Ramirez scramble. ended up in the more advantageous position. It's a very close round number one. I would say Leibach won it based on the volume of strikes that she threw and landed. Close fight, Ramirez looking very sharp in this first round. Uh, she's a little tank, you know, she, she, she's coming in with a deficit in terms of weight and in terms of height. And Leibach, you know, but just Leibach had the, just pure volume. So based on pure volume, 
I give it to her, but still very close. I wouldn't be upset with another judge if they gave that one to Ramirez. It wouldn't be a trap. Like that other time. Yes. Yeah, okay. yes. But very good first round for both these ladies. They they know what's on the line, so they're both bringing it. They're, there's, there's not a lot of feeling out. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, stalling going on in this fight. Both these women are bringing the fight. Second round coming up. We've got three rounds in total, and we are underway. This could be a very important round for both ladies. Who will set the pace? Who will take control of this fight? Both still swinging wildly for the fences. Leibach with the body lock, looking for the takedown. Ramirez doing a nice job, though. She's very controlled. She's got to be careful she doesn't grab the cage here. Do not She's got that lower center of gravity, fence. which makes it harder for a taller Either person to get her to the ground. Leibach still trying, but uh, now they're back standing on their feet, looking to throw some more. Again, Leibach goes oh. for the takedown. Ramirez does a nice job using her hips, turning into the takedown and ending up in top position. Haven't really seen a whole lot of Leibach's ground game from her back. She's got those long limbs, which are, are certainly an advantage. But Looks that like takedown, she's trying to work that leg over maybe for right the, now. Looking for that arm right there. You can see Leibach, or excuse me, Ramirez's left arm that Leibach's trying to grab onto. She's trying to push her legs over her. She does have that arm, but does she have that now? She it's gave up now. on it, yeah. And now they're just in a, just a, 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 an awkward position we don't see very often. It's hard for Ramirez to really score from here. It's hard for Leibach to get out of this because Leibach can't use her feet. Referee is calling for time. And it looks like he's saying something to Ramirez, perhaps. Oh, no, he was just That's just resetting the action. Okay, I, I think maybe because they were at a, just at a... It was a stalemate. It was an awkward position for both. Nobody could really do any damage at that point. We don't oh. see that very often. Oh, nice big, right hand yeah. from Leibach there. It landed right on the chin of Ramirez. Stunned her a little bit. Ramirez not backing off, though. She's still pushing forward. Front kick from Leibach. And what seems to be the problem a little bit for Leibach is her balance. So she'll she'll charge in a little bit and throw a caution to the wind because she's an aggressive fighter, which I like. But when she gets in close, Ramirez is very strategic in the way that she moves her hips and creates a center of gravity. As a result, Leibach is sometimes ending up in a dis uh, at a disadvantage because Ramirez is doing a better job in those final moments of finishing the move. Like right there even. Leibach yeah. charging in, trying to grab a hold of Ramirez. Ramirez pivots, turns her hips, and tosses Leibach into the cage. Uses her own body weight and height against her. But big knee right there by Leibach coming into the midsection of Ramirez. She's got her up against the corner. You know, I still think that uh, Leibach could be winning this round. Still very, another very close round. Leibach, big kick to the body. Ramirez catches it, but it still lands. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Leibach trying to light her up right now. A little flurry there at the end. That's the end of round number two. Boy, another close one. Um, Amber Leibach is my pick. If, if I'm a judge and I'm sitting cage side, Amber Leibach was the busier fighter. Yep. And she, she threw more strikes right. and certainly more strikes that landed in that round. Paula Ramirez did a nice job trying to pivot out. Use the body weight of Amber Leibach against her. She's a tough, gritty fighter, but she has got to get busier. Uh, she's gonna need to, I think she's gonna need a finish to win this fight. She wants to win that Invicta contract. She's going to need to finish Amber Leibach in this third and final round because I don't think it matters what she does in this third round that she's not winning. I mean, granted, there are judges sitting on two other angles who have two different views of this fight from us, but from what we've seen, Amber Leibach, I think, clearly won that second round and doesn't really need to do anything if this goes to a decision, in my opinion. Certainly a close fight, though. We have no idea what the uh, judges are thinking at this point. 
And these ladies are coming out with a sense of urgency, both of them. Amber Leibach just charging forward. Paulo Ramirez answering nicely back, getting the better of that, uh, that break right there on the exchange. She threw a punch to the left-hand side of the face of Amber Leibach and landed. Ramirez is still having difficulty with that reach of Amber Leibach, though. Well, she's got those kicks, too. She's so tall for a female fighter coming in to 5'11 here at 145 pounds. You know, she, she has a huge reach advantage over Ramirez. Ramirez has got some strength, but she's not, she, she's not able to close that distance and not able to really let go, get some dirty boxing, get her up against the cage, and just let that, let, let that happen, let those fists do the work. Yeah. Ramirez, again, is wearing the black and the white. Amber Leibach is wearing the blue and the black. Very close fight here. But going into round number three, both of us have Amber Leibach winning this fight. Another hip toss attempt that does not take. They break, meet back in the center of the cage. You know, Ramirez did a good job right up there against the, uh, up against the cage, but she's just really, you know, we're not seeing her really throw uppercut. She, she's, she does a good job of getting Amber there, but just doesn't do anything with it. Big knee there by Leibach. And Leibach winning those exchanges when they're when they're in close too. And Leibach's the busier fighter. That's been the story of this fight for me. Is that Leibach is charging forward. She's acting like she wants it. She's pushing hard. She's continuing to press the pace, and that's very important. Hopefully, the judges are seeing the exact same thing that we are, where Amber Leibach is the one that's pushing forward and trying to win this fight. Now, Paula Ramirez is a very tough, gritty fighter, and obviously, she's got a lot of talent. That's why she came into this fight at 4-0. But Amber Leibach, at least from this chair, appears to be the one that wants this more. Looking for another hip toss. Doesn't work. Once again, they'll reset in the middle of the cage. Hip toss is really not working for either of these fighters tonight. Both are doing a good job of defending against those. Leibach with a stiff jab. Half landed on the chin of Ramirez. That Ramirez, one did land. Ramirez landed the right, but it was immediately answered by a left from... Ramirez with a looping right hand there that kind of grazed the chin of Amber Leibach. Nothing solid, but you see what, what Ramirez has been basically... The only thing that she's able to do because the reach of Amber Leibach is try to counter when she comes in for an attack. That's a really bad spot to be in. She's got to figure out, well, it's the final 15 seconds now. She's got to figure out how to land that huge home run shot if she wants to win this fight. It's not going to be there because Leibach is in her range too well. You know, she's, 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 she's too good at using that range and doesn't let Ramirez throw that big right Paolo Ramirez! And that and is three Amber rounds Leibach. in the book. Amber Leibach raising her hands in the air, thinking that she has dealt the very first loss to Paula Ramirez of her career. Paula Ramirez disagrees. She's got her hands up in the air as well. Let's see what the judges think in just a moment. Somebody walking away with an Invicta contract tonight from Tough Enough. And that's what I love about Invicta is that they have directly linked up with the best amateur organization in the entire country and said, look, we understand that you're a farm system for some of the best talent. That's where we've seen some superstars come from. We think that you have what it takes to provide us with that next crop of female talent, which is what Invicta specializes in. Of course, you can watch those fights on UFC's Fight Pass. But which one of these ladies will make that leap tonight, going from an amateur fighter to a professional fighter, getting that big contract with Invicta? We're about to find out momentarily, but very entertaining fight put on by Amber Leibach, who you see there with her hands in the air, and Paula Ramirez, who came into this fight undefeated. Judges taking their time to deliberate right now, trying to figure out who the winner is. We'll have an announcement momentarily, but this fight was a relatively close fight, my It was. I mean, round one, round two, you know, I, like I said, I thought Leibach won, but I could see if you're looking at this fight maybe from a different angle, maybe you're seeing some, some stuff that we're not seeing or you're just seeing an angle that's different. Maybe you judge it for Ramirez. Ramirez, certainly no slouch. That's why she was in this fight. Justin Bernard walking to the center of the ring right now. He has the judge's decision. Let's find out who won. Let's hear it for Paula Ramirez and Amber Librock, ladies and gentlemen. After a three-round war, we have your winner by unanimous decision and tough enough, Invicta FC Featherweight Tournament Champion, 
Ember Libra. To Amber Leibach. Here's Justin. This has got to be crazy emotional for you. What a war you went with. Paula, three rounds. Outstanding job on the training, the game plan. Truly, the future star of MMA taking home the Invicta FC Pro contract. How great does it feel? It feels amazing. <laughs> Do you want to you thank anybody? First and foremost, I always got to thank the Lord, because without him, I couldn't do anything. And my grandma was sitting at home. I told you I was coming home with the pro contract. My team, my coaches, my sponsors, everybody. I couldn't do this without you guys. Mom and dad in the audience, thank you for always supporting me. My boxing family, thank you guys. I love you all. Enjoy the fame. Good luck in Invicta. Ladies and gentlemen, your Invicta FC featherweight champion. She is going to the pros. Amber Libra. Congratulations again to Amber Leibach winning the fight tonight, moving on to the professional ranks. That's what Tough Enough is all about. We've got the co-main event and the main event coming up. And I can't tell you how excited I am to call these next two fights. In the co-main event, two undefeated fighters, Corey Conway, who is an absolute stud, and Joy Ruquette, who is 7-0, stepping into the cage. Cannot wait to call this one next, Mahoney. The future stars of MMA right there, you see a young lady headed to Invicta. Congratulations to her. From the sold-out Orleans Ballroom here in Las Vegas on a beautiful Friday night, we're coming right back. Hang on.